What is a Venn diagram? When you're teaching your kids, at some point you're probably going to use a Venn diagram. You'll use this great tool to compare and contrast two different objects. Or you might compare and contrast three different objects once your kids are more advanced in using Venn diagrams. When I started teaching, I didn't know what a Venn diagram was, but then I saw the term online and started researching to find out more about it. What I learned is that it's a great visual way to compare and contrast. For example, if I wanted to look at the difference between horses and cows, I could use a Venn diagram to compare their similarities and contrast their differences. Or I could do the same with birds and mammals to look at what's similar between them and what's different about them. If you want to make a Venn diagram, all you do is just draw two circles that overlap each other. The circles are usually drawn side by side and where they overlap you need to have enough room to write. Where the circles don't overlap you'll be writing differences between the two objects and where they do overlap that's where you'll write down the similarities. Make sure that you label the two circles of your Venn diagram so that you know what each one represents. I'm going to give you three steps for making your own Venn diagram. The first step is to choose two different organisms to compare and contrast. You can choose two animals of the same species, but for beginners with Venn diagrams, it's best to use two different types of organisms. You could use two different kinds of mammals, or two different kinds of birds, or you could also compare a certain type of mammal to a certain type of bird, or you can even use plants. So you can compare plants to each other, or you can compare an animal to a plant. There are many possibilities for making the Venn diagram. You just need to figure out what interests your child the most to start working with Venn diagrams. For this example, I'm going to compare and contrast a rabbit and a squirrel. The second step in making your Venn diagram is to look for similarities and differences between your two organisms. So some similarities that are easy to see between them is that they are often both brown. They also have eyes, ears, four legs, paws, and tails. They are both mammals. So they have fur, they make milk for their young, and they're warm-blooded. Now I'm going to look for some differences between these two animals. Although they both have tails, their tails look very different from each other. The squirrel's tail is long and curled around and fluffy, while the cottontail rabbit's tail is small. There are also different colors. The cottontail has a white tail, and the squirrel has a brown tail or it may not have a brown tail because sometimes tree squirrels can be gray or black or red. So the differences in colors could also go in the contrasting spaces of the Venn diagram. Once you have figured out similarities and differences for your two organisms, then you would fill in your Venn diagram. That's the third step. So in the center where the two circles overlap, you'd write down all of the similarities and where the circles don't overlap, that's where you would write the differences. Do you want to make science fun, get your kids outside, and spend a lot less time planning lessons? Go to eiforkcom slash free. That's ei4k.com forward slash free.